guys, it's been a magnificent afternoon. But, uh, what, what are your thoughts? I thought we were brilliant, genuinely brilliant from start to finish. Uh, to come here, you know, in front of four and a half thousand fans um, and perform like that, they were absolutely amazing. Everything we told them to do, they implemented. Moments that appeared, they executed everything today. And I said it last week, I'm really proud of them, but we said at half time, I was really proud of the way that they, you know, implemented the game plan. But don't confuse pride with acceptance of what we want. And this is just another step, like we've said that all along, not happy to just be here this time. Like we, we genuinely have got a changing room full of belief. As the week grew on, I believed even more in this group in today's, in today's game. Everything that we were going to ask them to do today, everything we'd worked on, the more, the, the more we got closer and closer to the game, I just grew in confidence. And they're so, they're so talented. They're, all of them are so, 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 so talented. And um, like I said, from start to finish, I know there's a, f a few little sporadic moments, but you're going to get there, going to commit a few more bodies. I don't think they were necessarily clear cut. Uh, we've had clear cut chances. Um, you know, three, four clear-cut chances. So on another day, I think it could have been <clears throat> more comfortable. I'm, I'm delighted for George. Um, you know, to, he was brilliant today, and for him to, to score a goal like that is a massive moment. He'll enjoy that. I know he's got family watching, but like I said, it's it's another step towards where we want to go. It's going to be a real tough game next week, um, but one that will we'll really look forward to now. And uh, it was a terrific atmosphere, but a hostile one, as you've expected. But it, as you said in the week, it was about players man controlling their emotions. We did that, like, you know, in games like this, and probably where we were guilty last time we came here, you allow the crowd to become excited. It becomes a difficult afternoon. They get their tails up, like they, they'll have a go. The fans will get behind them. They've got wind in their sails. And today we didn't allow them to do that. And I said before the game, these don't want to be here. They're very, very good away from home. They're not bad at home, but they're very, very good away from home. And if they could have chosen to be at home or away in the playoffs, I'm pretty sure they would have said away um, because of the results. And, and you know that galvanises them a group. You go away, you've got that proud record. You want to keep ticking it off and ticking it off and ticking it off. And we use that to our advantage today. I think their fans start to go a little bit sour after 20, 25 minutes. And the scenes at the end is just an absolute you know, disgrace. I've never seen anything like that in 15 years of football. It's an absolute disgrace to have to walk children out of a stand because they're scared for their safety. Like, if that's what that football club want to be proud of and that what their fans want to be associated with, I feel sorry for Callum because he's done a massive job this year. He, you know, the culture he's created, you can see that within the group, you know. I follow non-league football very closely before I was doing this role, so I can see that culture that he's created. And it's disappointed, and it'll leave a sour taste in his mouth, it'll leave a sour taste in their football club's mouth. I don't really want to talk about him too much, but I just think it's an absolute disgrace to have players not able to enjoy the moment with their fans. Like, just accept it, get on with it. We would have. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's an, it's, an, it's an absolute disgrace to have children petrified for their safety. You've described this afternoon's win as it's just, just another step on the journey. So what about that next step next Sunday? Listen, they're in a great place, really, really good place. And um, you know, Russ has done a, a brilliant job to one get in the playoffs. We spoke about an opportunity to create momentum. I'm sure he's having exactly the same conversation. And it's two teams now that are entering a playoff final in, you know, red hot form, and that that leads for an exciting game. We know a lot of their players, they'll know a lot of our players. It's, it's going to be a, a real, real good game. Um, one that we will really look forward to. Um, and we've worked so hard to get here. You know, not, not just today, not just last week. We've worked exceptionally hard. Worked exceptionally hard to create a belief in the change room. And they certainly believe. You don't come away to Chester in front of 4,500 fans and perform like if you don't believe that you're capable of doing something. And they're really, really, really good football players. Simple as that, and they know that now. But it will be, you know, same detail covered, same demands um, individually, collectively, and like I said, I'm, I'm I'm so proud of them because they are, you know, they're, they're real close friends of mine. And the reason that I decided to take or accept this responsibility is because I wanted to see them do well and to see them being able to have the opportunity to enjoy moments like that is you know something that i won't forget now and that's 
you know, really important and I want to give them more. I want to allow them the freedom to have more. I want them to get a taste for it and want more. And they've got that now. So next week they'll go into that game, you know, really excited, really focused. Well, look, fair play to the players and to you guys. You've given us a magnificent afternoon. And I think the coach trip home will be, uh, will be an enjoyable one. Hopefully, yeah. Well Thank done. you, mate.